One of the most persistent comments I get on my Cobra Kai videos lately is for the upcoming season 2 of Cobra Kai, who is Miguel's father? Is it Terry Silver? Is it Mike Barnes? Is it Chosen? Let's find out. What's up boys and girls, this is Vin Jirfi, hope you're having a smashing day. If this is your first time to the channel, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit that like if you're into that. And for the rest of you, thank you for joining me once again. Okay, so let's get right into it. Um, first of all, I want to say super thanks for just filling comments, you know, uh, on my Cobra Kai videos. It's just been so much fun for me to read them and respond to them. And I'm just loving the interaction that goes back and forth and, you know, people just discussing different theories on who is who and what's going to happen in season two. It's super exciting. So something that's been popping up a lot is who is Miguel's father. Now, all we really do know is that Miguel's father, when she talks about Miguel's father, he's apparently a very bad man in El Salvador. That's it. That's all we really know. Now, it kind of feels like why would she say that unless there was some purpose? She could have just said, oh, Miguel never knew his father or uh, his fa father passed away or something like that. So there is something to it. You know, there is some purpose to there's most likely going to be that his father shows up somehow in season two, most likely. And I'm also thinking that has something to do with Miguel's anger. He does sort of have anger issues, especially when he's drinking something like that now a lot of people they have a lot of interesting theories and um so let's just go over the usual suspects okay first of all uh terry silver a very evil person in el salvador terry silver was one of the two bad guys in karate kid 3 and i suppose technically he could be on a business trip in El Salvador. It doesn't have to be a person who, you know, lives and is from El Salvador. It could be just someone who was there temporarily. It's not completely impossible. Or perhaps she was lying. Maybe maybe the person wasn't from El Salvador. Maybe he, she was trying to protect Miguel from ever finding out the truth that his father really was the cruel and terrible uh, Terry Silver. Uh, a lot of people think this, a lot of comments where people are just certain that this is the case. I'm not so certain, I just, I just, it feels like a very long shot, you know. Uh, Terry Silver, Miguel, I just don't see them hugging it out, you know, like father and son. Plus, the actor who played Terry Silver has basically gone into retirement and I, I really don't think he's gonna get back on the saddle on this thing. It's not the most serious of movies and uh, I just seriously doubt that he will be back. That's, that's my take on it. I don't think it's Terry Silver. Moving on to Mike Barnes. Now Mike Barnes is actually a very good candidate even though he's technically not from El Salvador but you know how these things go. As I explained before, he could have been just passing through or maybe the mother was lying. It's not completely impossible that Mike Barnes is actually Miguel's father. A bit of temperament issues, maybe. Personally, I think that if Mike Barnes is anyone's father, it should be Hawks. I don't know why, but that's, that's just my take on it. Um, I know for a fact that the actor who is playing Mike Barnes will be returning in season two. So there is that. He will be back. Is it as Miguel's father? It's possible. I am not completely certain that I want... Uh, Again, you know, coincidences, you know. Uh, okay, I'm buying the whole Daniel and Johnny Lawrence are training someone for the first time ever. Uh, at the same time, I, I get that, but then suddenly out of the blue, like Mike Barnes comes in as Miguel's father. I, I That's too much to swallow. But one big reason why I do believe also 
that Mike Barnes will shape things around is if you remember, uh, Mike Barnes was supposed to be part owner of Cobra Kai. Now, technically, this was the deal for beating LaRusso. Now, he didn't beat him, technically speaking, but he could have some leverage there. We'll see. But remember, guys, technically, Mike Barnes, yes, he was supposed to own 50% of Cobra Kai, but he didn't. He did because he didn't beat Daniel LaRusso, so he didn't get anything. Um, so, no, I don't think that Mike Barnes is the father. Moving on to the third and very unlikely choice, but I suppose in the world of movies, anything is possible, and that is the fact that Miguel's father is chosen. Yeah, chosen. The bad guy from Karate Kid Part 2. Uh, chosen in El Salvador. Uh, well, uh, you know, uh, anything is possible. I, um, I have my doubts. I think it's the, the most unlikely case. Um, but I, I am actually hoping that the actor will come back as Chosen. I really like Chosen. I thought he was a good bad guy. Uh, and I'm going to have a video about that, about who would win case Chosen versus Mike Barnes. That would be kind of cool to see, I think. But moving on to my fourth option is that I think that Miguel's father is actually a person from El Salvador an El Salvadorian, an evil El Salvadorian. I, I actually think that is the case. Um, I could be wrong, I could be wrong on that, but um, that's my theory. And the reason why I think that is because I just think that if you're gonna throw in some surprise, surprise, guess who's the father, like for instance, putting in that, um, you know, John Kreese would turn out to be a father. That would just be really weird. Like, that would just make no sense whatsoever. Especially since, you know, he is kind of old. Like, not to judge older people, but I, mean, I, mean, I, mean, I know Picasso was like 70 when he had kids. But anyway, moving on. I, my take on it is I think it's going to be someone unknown. Um, that's my theory. Love to know what you think. Put it in the comment below. Again, Thank you guys so much for watching my Korba Kai videos. Don't forget to check out my playlist. And if you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'll catch you later. Take care. Okay, that was it. Hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, see that like button, smash it. And I got some freakishly awesome videos coming up. Better subscribe so you don't miss a beat. I'll see you later. Peace.